what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this october we have something pretty exci pretty exciting happening regarding the original scream as we get ready to celebrate the 25th anniversary of that original amazing film and i'll be sharing my thoughts on that also this past couple of days hello sydney rounded out their trilogy that they had going on with the interview sit downs that they were doing with the team of radio silence who worked on screen five matt tyler and chad Villella. During this last bit, they talked about the importance of the legacy cast members and bringing them on set and how important they are to the franchise and I guess to making what the final product of Screen 5 ended up being. They stated that they are really like the beating heart of this franchise and so to have the three of them just so generously offering themselves to the movie, this was stated by Tyler in reference to Nev Campbell, David Arquette and Courtney Cox, they created that sense of family, again Tyler said referring to the positive vibe that had been consistently reported by those who worked on the film last year. And they also started going on about how the trio even like helped with developing the status quo of who Sid, Dewey, and Gale are. We know that these characters, us as fans, I, I I would say agree with that sentiment that they are the heart of this franchise at this point. You know, they've been the only main three characters to consistently come back. They've been one of the most consistent aspects of this of this franchise. That's also one of the things that's really amazing about the Scream franchise compared to other horror series is how consistent it has managed to be. Despite some behind the scenes hiccups with producers, cough, cough, Harvey Weinstein and Bob Weinstein. But uh, <laughs> they also talked about how they interacted with the new cast members and how they were kind of looking to them for guidance and approval. So, you know, that's that's really cute to hear. They stated that in regards to the new cast members, they're all incredible. Then watching the way the new cast members just would be looking to the legacy cast members for guidance and for appreciation of what they've done for what they've built. They were just very thankful. So, you know, that's that's a nice thing to know that I, I feel like if we were in these actors positions and they're they themselves being fran fans of this franchise like we are, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be on set looking, especially people like uh, Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega, for sure, because we're again assuming and hoping that we're correct in this, that Sam Carpenter and Tara Carpenter, they're going to be our two new main characters of focus as it pertains to screen five so you know with you filling in roles of sydney prescott and with filling in the sydney prescott like role and now your friends are filling in the role of sydney prescott's like group of friends that she had in the original film you know you're going to be looking to these people who have already been there done that like hey did i do this good what do you think of this and so that's a nice thing to hear that they want to sounds like have feedback from them and know that they were living up to the legacy that they've created with this franchise but the other thing that we need to talk about is regarding Scream and its upcoming 25th anniversary later this year. We know which is taking place in December of uh, a month and some change. Not well, not even a month. That would be less than a month before Scream 5 comes out. So what's happening is there is a Fathom event. And for those of you Jeepers Creepers fans out there, this might be a good time to go to another Fathom event <laughs> if you haven't been to one since Jeepers Creepers 3 because at least you'll get to go to a Fathom event that you know you'll be sitting down to watch a good movie <laughs> and you'll also be getting something a little extra it seems like as you saw in the thumbnail that I have up for this video. So shout out to film updates regarding this tweet. I'm expecting everyone that's officially involved with the film to make an announcement regarding that to confirm this to us but as you see here in this tweet Scream will be re-released in theaters across the U.S. on October 10th of 2021 in honor of its 25th anniversary. Now, here's the interesting part. It will also feature an exclusive look at the upcoming Scream movie, Scream 5, which will hit theaters on January 14th, 2022. You can go to Fandango. You can go to the Fathom Events website. You can go to AMC and search Scream and actually see it there coming soon. They have another coming soon in relation to uh, Scream 5. At some point, these tickets will drop. When they drop, best believe I'm going to buy my set of tickets, buy my one ticket, and go watch this movie and see what they have to offer. Now, this exclusive first look could be the teaser. It could be a full-length trailer at that point. And it could also just be those interviews that Matt and Tyler seem to have been doing and Chad Villela seem to have done where they were all sitting in front of that green screen. It could be just like a featurette of things where they're talking about the, the the series, the movie itself, the original that being. And then they show like little tidbits from the new film while they're talking about this franchise and just praising it. 
or since this is a fathom event this could have already been always the plan and what this could be is they could be introducing the original scream prior to the fathom event uh, and then what they could do afterwards or before the the movie starts to say they just welcome you to the to honor the 25th anniversary of Scream, they all share their individual thoughts on the movie and how excited they are that they're getting to helm the next upcoming fifth entry in it. And then they will tell you to make sure you stay after the credits roll for an exclusive first look at Scream 5. And then at that point, we could see the trailer, full length trailer. We could see maybe a short teaser or we could see just something else maybe a slight bit of a certain scene in the movie like i don't i don't know i doubt it would be a, a scene more or less let's hope it's the first look at the teaser we just know it's going to be an exclusive first look but no real specifics as to what that look could entail the other thing i wanted to point out because i don't think i've seen anyone else point this out is that it's coming this is happening on october 10th five days after that halloween kills is coming out so that's why if i'm a betting man i would say i would hope anyway because i'm not i'm not making any bets on that really <laughs> but i would hope that they're putting out a teaser or a trailer for you to see it in theaters on that sunday if you buy your ticket for that fathom event to get that exclusive first look and then on tuesday that same week they released the trailer and then of course audiences who are already anticipating halloween kills halloween fans general horror audiences in general they'll go out and watch halloween kills and sit down and be treated to the scream 5 trailer in that uh as you're watching the previews and halloween kills undoubtedly i'm expecting that to be a big thing at the box office expecting that to be massive at the box office so this would be a great way to get attention towards scream 5 I know I talked previously about it being in front of a quiet place too and a lot of other things but you know doing it in front of Halloween Kills would make the most sense there's already a lot of stuff happening in October with this franchise re-releases of the original films etc etc so I just wanted to throw that out there that Halloween Kills is also coming out that same week so this could all be done on purpose but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below will you be purchasing your ticket for that Fathom event what do you guys think about how they see the legacy characters or cast members if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future but in my guys i will see you in the next video